Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best new handheld gaming consoles. Starting at number 5. Ioneo Air Plus. If you're looking to spend quite a bit getting the best possible performance, then the Ioneo Air Plus is one of the best premium offerings on the market. It outperformed the Steam Deck in our tests and therefore offers the best experience for players that want to crank the settings up on some of the most recent PC games. Unlike the Linux-based operating system of the Steam Deck, the Ioneo Air Plus runs on Windows meaning that it is compatible with a fair few more games. It is also much more compact than the Steam Deck, making it far better suited for travel. We were also very impressed by the tactile buttons, which have a clicky feel that is absolutely perfect for diving into the best fighting games. It also includes a handy fingerprint reader, which helps you get back into your games quicker than its rivals. The one drawback here is the IA Space Game Launcher software, which is just no match to the launcher found on the Steam Deck. It's a little clunky to use, but is more than adequate for getting you into games. The limited battery life is also worth considering. As with other portable PC handhelds, expect to only get a few hours of use out of a charge when playing games at their maximum graphical settings. Coming at number 4. Super Pocket. The Super Pocket performs impressively well while playing older titles which makes it our top pick if you want a handheld console for playing retro games. There are currently two versions of the handheld console on the market, the green and black Taito edition and the yellow and blue Capcom edition. Both versions include a unique built-in library of titles, focusing specifically on popular games from their respective publishers including the likes of Space Invaders and Bubble Bobble or Street Fighter 2, Hyper Fighting, Final Fight, and Mega Man. We played all of the games in these two libraries during our testing and were very pleased with the smooth performance given the small form factor. The 320x240px IPS screen is certainly going to pale in comparison to the far more premium displays found on other systems on this list, like the Nintendo Switch OLED's much high resolution 720p display, but it's balanced out thanks to its 2.8 inch 7cm size. On the whole, games look fantastic and boast deep colors. There are even some decent display options, such CRT scanline filters and aspect ratios, that allow you to further to tweak their look to your liking in the software. Easily one of the most desirable features of the Super Pocket, however, is the Evercade cartridge slot. This grants Super Pocket owners access to a growing library of affordable Evercade cartridges that can pack everything from classic Namco arcade games to modern indie titles like Micro Mages and Foxyland. At number 3. Steam Deck. A powerful, portable gaming PC that can fit in your pocket is certainly an attractive proposition. While it can't really fit in your pocket thanks to its absolutely gigantic size, the Steam Deck offers all of the power of a high-end gaming laptop in a much smaller package. With its surprisingly modest starting price of £399-349 for the most basic model, and up to £649-569 for the highest-end version, the Steam Deck packs in a hell of a lot of high-end hardware for your money. It's available directly through Valve's Steam client and, regardless of the version you opt for, you will be able to experience many Steam Deck verified titles, including the likes Cyberpunk 2077 and Apex Legends. The list of supported games is growing all the time so while your favorites might not be supported right now there's a high chance that they will be in future. Valve's first foray into the handheld hardware market isn't entirely perfect, as the battery life can struggle with more intensive titles, but, given just how well many of the most demanding titles look and run on this device, this is a trade-off that we think is well worth making. As this device runs on a modified version of the Linux operating system, not every game from your Steam library will run flawlessly, but there's a good chance that a sizable chunk of titles you already own will be compatible straight out of the box. Number 2 of my list Nintendo Switch Lite With its affordable asking price of £199.99-£200, the Nintendo Switch Lite is our top pick for those who are shopping on a budget. Its smaller form factor is perfect for portable play as it can be quickly shoved into a rucksack or even a large pocket when you're on the move. 
There are also a range of attractive bright colors to choose from including blue, pink, purple, gray, and yellow. The design is constructed out of a thick plastic and, in our testing, proved more durable than the original Nintendo Switch model which is ideal if you're prone to dropping or scratching your systems. Furthermore, the fact that the Joy-Con controllers are permanently attached to the system has the added benefit that they are impossible to lose while out and about. You're getting a slightly smaller screen here, but it runs at the same 720p resolution as the Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch OLED, so there is no performance or visual downgrade here. If anything, the smaller size can help the image look a little sharper. The one limitation of the Nintendo Switch Lite, however, is its complete inability to dock and play games on a TV. Bear this in mind before you buy. And number 1. Nintendo Switch OLED. The Nintendo Switch OLED is the best model in the company's current console lineup. While it boasts the same internals as the stock Nintendo Switch, the screen has received a substantial upgrade. It is now a larger 7-inch OLED panel that helps the best Nintendo Switch games really pop. With its £349.99-£299.99 asking price, the Nintendo Switch OLED positions itself as much cheaper than many of the alternatives on this list, especially the handheld PCs. This lower price does have a tangible impact on performance, however, meaning that many ported games like Mortal Kombat 1 can begin to struggle. This is most noticeable if you're someone who primarily plays on the TV in docked mode, however, making it far easier to recommend for portable play. With this variant, you're also getting a greatly improved kickstand and significantly better speakers as well, leading to a much better experience while playing in handheld mode. All of the original Nintendo Switch library is compatible with the Nintendo Switch OLED 2, granting you immediate access to incredible exclusive games like Animal Crossing New Leaf and Splatoon 3. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.